Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at the updated OP08 ST14 Mono Black Luffy uh, deck profile. This is an undefeated deck profile, and we also did take home one of the treasure cups too with the other original profile. So this is going to be an update that's slightly different than what's been out there. Um, I believe the medal currently is the Navy package, where this is going to be the Animal Kingdom uh, build. So we start off with our deck. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, this is going to be the new Dawn that I'll be uh, releasing for merch uh, coming up very soon. Hopefully, once we hit that 1,000 subs, I'll be giving some away and also have some up for pre-order. This is just the sample that we got we got in and then uh, been starting to test it to see how the quality is before we start uh, producing more. But uh, of course, you're going to need your Dawn if you're playing One Piece. Um, this deck profile will start with uh, four of the uh, Thousand Sunnies, which is the backbone of this deck, just because um, it allows you to draw one and also just give all your Straw Hats plus one cost, which is very powerful to activate a lot of the, the abilities that uh, a lot of the cards will have here, um, and also protect your your field from uh, different removals such as uh, Luchi and Gecko Morius. So we run four of the Thousand Sunnies, we will run uh, four of these queens. Um, the queen cards here uh, search for Animal Kingdom. Um, it's used for the 1K also uh, a lot of the time, just because if you do have a jack in hand already, or if you're looking for a 2K, um, this is generally all you're gonna really pull out pull out of there um there is a lot of animal kingdom stuff in here uh just to do cost reductions and other stuff like that so a queen is definitely um, a very powerful card to find that high end or mid end uh, jack card um your reduction and uh a couple of ko cards too but we do run a four of um i did hear in the comments that i've been shuffling the cards too much so i'm trying my best not to do so so you guys can see all the cards here but we run uh Four of this uh, Sasaki, Sasaki here. Um, it's a 2K. Um, you can rest one dawn and get a minus two on um, uh, on the on your opponent's uh, characters also. So this is uh, a more of a tech card, but also uh, used a lot of time for 2K. Um, this is great to try to reduce some of those high ends down to a five, um, or just to reduce some fives down to a three so that you can use some more tech that's coming up here. But a great reduction card, uh, a cost of two dawn, um, and then you can reuse it because it's active means. So you can uh, use one dawn after that to get another two cost reduction. So we do run a four of that. The next card we do run in this deck profile is the Brook. Um, once again, another great card that's seen in many of the black decks. One of the stronger cards in here uh, gives a one reduction and then also a KO's zero cost. Um, pairing this with um, the other reduction that is in this deck profile is is great. Uh, you may not always use the zero cost, but um, facing like red decks or uh, decks with, that has a lot of weenies, um, this is a strong card that can be played out early just to clear a board out quickly. Um, I think I've used this quite a bit into like Zora matchups and even Chopper matchups. Uh, but yeah, we ran a three of the Brooks here. Um, as for blockers, um, we run uh, Scratchman Apu here. Uh, Scratchman Apu is a 1k four cost. Um, you're able to use this as a block, but also once per turn, uh, get minus one cost onto anything on the field. So you don't even have to rest him. You can just use him and just uh, combo it with like a Brook or other um, other cards to get rid of that uh, pesky higher end using some more of the KOing effects that is in this deck that we'll go over um, throughout the at the end of the video I'll go through the different matchups the different combinations you're going to want to see and how to really navigate this deck so make sure you watch the end to see how to play this deck a little more efficiently or just get a little more insight if you are new to this uh, new new to this style of playing um, I'm originally uh 
Zerpal Kaido and more of a green player. I played Uta, I played Bonnie. We do have a Bonnie deck profile coming up also and a few other ones that we've been testing and uh, been taking for locals. But uh, we do run a five Asanji, uh, one of the strongest cards in here uh, by having a six cost on field, which generally uh, attaching Dawn to your leader will give you a one cost or just having that Sunny out will give you that extra one cost. So if you're able to get that Sunny on curve and then able to just pop pop this on your five dawn turn you can easily ko um, anything early on in the game so we do run a uh, four sanji um, this is also greatly paired with uh, bigger cost reductions such as robin or even ice age to get rid of uh some of the big gecko or some of the the sabos or other top end shanks uh, we've been running through a lot of different profiles so we've been doing a lot of play testing on this uh, we do run four of the uh, Monkey D. Luffy, the Zombie Luffy here. Uh, you're able to uh, trash up to one of your opponent's two costs or less, and then place all the four costs or more into your um, back into your deck. And then for every three cards that you place in your deck, this this man gains an extra thousand. So. Um, great mid game late game uh play also uh, once again another great card to uh face the different red decks or different aggro decks um just being able to plop them down and just constantly a uh, koing um a two cost or less uh using brook using a uh, scratch man poo to pair with this is is very gr uh very good at clearing board and gaining that board control so we do run four of that the next one we are running is a staple of all um black decks which is four of the sobbles um unfortunately sobble is still pretty pricey um hopefully you guys can get this at a decent price or have a place set early on but uh it doesn't seem like this card uh will ever go down in price so it's good to just pick it up as you can or just get really lucky with the treasure packs we run a four of the sobbles you draw two trash two great way to cycle dead cards every hand great way to get more tech and more um high ends to allow you to really build that board and get that bigger curve uh and then obviously because your opponent can't ko your characters with effects uh this is uh the strongest in a card that is a must and we do run a four of uh one of the few um other blockers that we have in here we only run eight blockers so between scratch man and poo with his minus one and sobble cycling and then just being able to protect your board um it's it's definitely a must the next card that we play in this deck profile will be your who's who another great 2k uh, most of the time you will be using him as a 2k just because the on play effect um, is pretty useful um you probably don't want to really use it as much because it's such a high cost and also you have to uh, discard one from hand so your hand size will get smaller but when you're in a pinch when you're in a bind and you just need that extra removal if you don't have that sanji if you don't have um those brooks and the the cost reduction available who's who uh can save you in that bind uh i do find that you can use him more as a 2k than the three cost but i have been been in a situation where i i have had to use the the cost just when i'm drawing dead so uh ko a three cost or less and then trash a card from your hand um great trigger card though um i have seen this uh, man in trigger a few times and has saved me where he's just blowing up a, a three cost or less so um who's who 2k uh sean card uh, if you're playing the Animal Kingdom package, you can find that 2k with the uh, Queen Search. So definitely a much must if you're running this Animal package, which is I believe is a lot cheaper to run than the Navy package itself. Um, Nico Robin, um, one one of the best cost reduction in this deck profile. Um, if you have a eight eight costs or higher, you just on play get a minus five, and then if you're pairing this with like the stage attached dawn onto uh luffy she becomes an eight cost off rip so if you have a brook established already um being able to play this minus down uh minus you know minus five brook minus one a poo minus one um you're just able to get that that down pretty pretty deeply and then um you can 
just easily KO with like a Brook or another like Jack or something, which is going to be in this deck definitely. So we ran a four of the Nico Robin for the cost reduction. And also you'll end up using her probably as counter a lot of time also, just because you probably don't need more than one or two of her um, when you do a uh, player. Um, the best card in black hands down will be this jack card he puts in that work he's a seven cost 8k swinger he uh gains four costs um just just by playing him you can rest this man down draw a card discard cycle in your hand and then just KOing one of your opponent's characters he doesn't even need to swing to help clear that board uh this is um the strongest card versus once again red decks just being able to pop a, a 3k cycle card you can also use this against uh yellow um like uh anel against uh, black yellow luffy is very powerful um probably necessary to face into like a gecko and also a sack uh not sakazuki he's banned already a luchi um, getting this man down early clearing that board out uh, and using that cost reduction from from all the different ways you can with the, the poo with the robins um we'll go over uh how to to really navigate this and uh into the different matchups that are current metal and and whatnot at the end here but we do run four of jack super super strong card um hard card to find because every black deck right now is looking for him um i got really lucky at getting these at the pre-release and just in my booster boxes uh, i think you're lucky to find even just one in a booster box but if you can find jack uh this is the strongest card in black hands down um probably greater than sabo i'm gonna be honest here this this man is your line to winning most of your matchups um, and next, the next card in this deck profile will be the new ST14 Rush Luffy. Um, a great card. Most, most, uh, sorry, I'm shuffling already. I'll try to stop there. Uh, most of the um, black decks, I believe there isn't any Rush card other than this black Luffy. Um, he will catch all, all your opponents off guard just because he's a two of. Um, I do use him quite a bit. Um, the only issue with this Luffy card is um, you have to have your stage. You have to have an attached on, which is fine. But if you're hard bricking stage, um, this is just going to be a big body. So unfortunately, um, if you get stage, this is a great card. It does catch people off guard. Just not, not knowing that there is a big rush card in there. If you do have to just play it as a body, do so. Um, a lot of people will misread this and think that you just get off, uh, rush off rip. But unfortunately, you only get the rush if there's a 10 cost on board, which is fine. If you get Jack down and then get this down, he just automatically rush. But if you're breaking hard or if Jack was removed, um, you need stage, you need to attach Don, which is, is generally not an issue. But I have seen it where I had to hard play this without the rush. But um, as I said, some, some of your opponents may misplay Play, just thinking that you will get that rush they may counter out early or they may leave up extra dawn to to defend this but then when you're saying okay i have passed turn to like you know what that man doesn't have rush i'm like no only if there's a 10 cost and you kill my jack or something like that so rush luffy um save me in the treasure cup uh versus uh yamato a few times um he, he is a very strong card uh in this deck profile there is not that card that can increase costs so uh you are you you are stuck with needing to have like a big sabo or a jack on field to gain that rush but we run a two of that uh rush luffy the next card we play on here is going to be your eight cost sabo um once again a very very powerful card heading into pretty much every 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 matchup um it's gonna be definitely harder to play against like a black yellow luffy or any deck that has the the sabo just because if they're able to do gecko moria uh death spire you sabo just playing after and after and after on you're never gonna be able to play this card so sometimes you may just need to play this as a big body not trash your card but uh in other decks that doesn't play the sabo if you're not versus a black 
uh, black deck. Um, just being able to use the cost reduction, uh, reducing a card down to a three and then popping a five, three trashing card, uh, clears that board out, um, gives you that, um, that board advantage, puts a big body down and uh, a lot of pressure. So we do run a three of Sabo. Um, the next card are more techie cards. Uh, we do run a one of nine cost, nine case uh, Kaido. Um, the wording on this card is a bit odd because it is going to be a tech card for future sets such as Blackbeard, where you can negate different um, effects on these leaders to allow them to play again. But Mr. Kaido here, active main or once per turn, you may trash one of your cards from your hand. If this card is played this turn, trash one of your opponent's seven costs or less and then your opponent has to trash a card also so once again on play this is like another kaido bomb for the black uh deck um you definitely will want this against um against any black deck that runs jack um we will we will go through more navigation for this but this is to tech for the luchi matchup this is to tech for the gecko moria matchup this is to tech against any any big body that's hard to remove um but essentially this is your jack killer kaido is the Emperor of the Sea, Jack is just one of his lieutenants. So Kaido, when he is here and Jack is on field, this is what you need to take care of Jack. Um, another one of card that we are playing is this is going to be the Sheep's Head here. Um, he's a two cost, three uh, three thousand um, attacker, one K counter. Uh, attaching one Dawn gives all your opponents minus one uh 1k costs so once again we do run this um as a one of as a tech card um we do save him or look for him once we are building that board um uh, trying to run that sabo trying to um trying to get that jack down just playing this and just attaching don not swinging him um just attach don each turn um being able to just minus everything out getting that one minus one aura out is such a powerful card just to allow you to combo that sabo just to allow you to uh use like brook uh that that apu just being able to pop extra stuff but we only do a one of um I'm gonna be honest. We we don't use this as um, like in a lot of our matchups, but when you do pull him, um, he's very very strong. Um, you'll most likely in most matchups that you run will end up being a 1K counter, but uh, it is it is something that can be that trump card to allow you to clear that board and just allow Jack to to uh, rampage and just um, take take care of your opponent's board. But that is the deck profile for the cards itself. Um, opening hands uh, you generally want to go for. Um, for myself, I generally do like to find at least a Sunny. If you're able to Sunny with a Sanji, um, even with a Queen, having a Brook, a Poo is, is going to be a big tier curve. If you can get any of these cards with a Jack, uh, in there you definitely will want to keep um, if you find a lot of high-end stuff or if you don't find that that stage card uh, being able to to have that jack in hand or finding that queen is definitely going to be very powerful um, as for curve if you want to go first or second um, i find that both is very clean um i like myself like to go first um unless i'm facing like a yellow deck or to try to break another person's curve but just having that sunny off 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 for turn one uh being able to draw that one have that straw hat with one cost plus uh being able to play sanji um off of that five dawn turn with stage and not having to attach dawn to luffy is is super powerful um being able to have this queen to find a jack and then and or if you have a jack in hand just being able to pull some 2ks for cost reduction is very strong having brook on curve is is super powerful versus those um 
those weenie decks um luffy versus weenie decks is is super super strong um facing like uh facing who is it um facing the nami decks facing any red decks uh being able to play this early being able to to swing and just trash a two costs um is, is is super easy when you're you, when you have the brooks when you have the poos so definitely uh a card that you want to play early on against those weenies uh sabos even if you're forced to play it at five to help cycle uh, a bricked hand uh finding your your once again jack jack is the the backbone of this this deck being able to find more of the the high end uh pulling sabo pulling the kaido um kaido is definitely needed versus the black decks just to remove any big jacks uh but we'll go over that in a bit but uh playing sabo early on versus like um gekamoria your your, your luchis being able to protect your board so they can't reduce everything down which is already difficult because uh luffy will just automatically increase the cost of everything having that that straw hat protected your sanjis bringing them seven costs and so on is, is is super super strong um other other considerations would be like this um you'll, you'll most likely use this as 2ks but once again um the trigger is is what it's going to save you um if you're if you're starting out you definitely want to be able to take at least two hits uh, especially if your 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 field uh, your opponent has uh, a big board um as zoros against the choppers with those weenies um triggering triggering it as they're swinging early is better just because you can kick and just uh, really throw a wrench into their gameplay um the nika robin combination um generally the way i do play nika robin um especially versus like a um a luchi and whatnot is i generally will want to establish a jack pretty early on um if it's getting late game in there you may want to uh play jack um just use him always to cycle a card especially if you have a blocker to protect him you played sabo earlier you played um apu earlier being able to minus that one out dropping uh, one of the characters down to three and then um resting jack uh popping their three cards drawing and discarding cycling in maybe hopefully a better uh curve card or if not another 2k counter that's probably going to be your best bet on that after that you're probably gonna want to establish your your nico robin especially if your other uh, opponents your 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 gecko moria or your sakazuki drops their own jack um you're gonna want to um either be able to um get that cost reduction down on jack which is going to be difficult unless you can really have uh all your cost reductions down there like uh sasaki or apu or brook which is going to be difficult because jack is like a, a base 11 um cost plus if they have untouched on uh he becomes like a, a 12 cost so without nico robin you're not gonna get rid of jack you want to play jack into nico robin um you might minus out that five uh from one of their you know their their eight costs or something use jack to pop it and then you leave you you protect jack and then what happens is on your next turn um you will always mulligan for a kaido you will always need this kaido to defeat that jack card you you play jack you play nico robin you swing nico robin you minus jack out um you drop him down to from what 11 or 12 minus 5 making him a seven cost then you play this kaido card you blow up you discard one you blow up that jack you you then discard one your opponent discard one uh hopefully by this late game if you're facing a a um, navy or black deck um hopefully they're running low on cards just because um they've been trying to establish that board so much they've been trying using all that cost reduction to clear your board too um so this kaido is a must to get that jack removed um and also uh 
I don't know if I went over this or not, but because this says when this is played on that turn, uh, you can only do it once. But because it's worded like that, I believe it's uh, for OP09 where Blackbeard has his leader ability where he's able to negate that extra effect. So then this is able to be used once per turn. So once again, Kaido is back. He's there to put Jack into his place. Um, but other than that, um, the, you, when you see Sheep's Head, uh, it will be very situational once again. But yeah, if you're able to play those Sabos, clearing board, um, what other matchup um, can we go through here? Um, Bonnie, the Bonnie matchup is actually pretty pretty i wouldn't say free but you do have that edge on it um it can depending on the type of bonnie that your opponent's playing uh i know right now a lot of people are still playing that fortress bonnie or um the one that i've been playing that i've liked is more of that aggro freeze um high-end rush bonnie um i have been do i did do a deck profile um i am doing a deck profile on that we we did hit our undefeated on that one also so that one will be coming very soon so if you want to check that out make sure you, you like and subscribe and uh see those future deck profiles we are going to be posting uh a, a blurple kaido update soon uh, we are going to be testing up in locals next so i'm hoping to get undefeated with that soon also and be able to post that um, we should have some other ones coming up, um, but yeah, there's a lot of deck profiles coming. Uh, let me get, let me know in the comments if you guys just want the undefeated stuff, or do you want to see some of the deck profiles I'm coming up with, just so we can. Um, before we test it and see if we can get undefeated. But uh, I've I've been just just kind of vibing with this this set this season just because everything is so competitive and and very very equal that uh a lot of the decks that weren't viable in the past are, are very strong now um so we went over black y'all luffy um black y'all luffy can be pretty tough if they hit their their um just top roll you just all those gecko morias all those sabos um this is definitely a removal type of uh removal type of gameplay so if they're sobbling you um three four turns in a row you just gotta get those big bodies down and just put pressure on but uh yeah it can be very difficult against black Yaw luffy but if you are able to really hit your curves you can really punish them early but uh most of the black Yaw luffy players that i have at my locals are very very strong players and they seem to always have like 10 or 12 cards in their hand uh by the time that i have enough board established to to really um start punishing them uh, but by getting that jack down and being able to hopefully dodge the, these sabo cards um it, it is a uh, pretty 50 50 um maybe the slight edge but probably not uh with the the black youth luffy black yellow luffy players i have at my locals they they don't make mistakes though so so it, it is a tough matchup um i was I, i've done this uh deck profile a couple weeks now at the locals and we've been been, ta been taking a lot of x1s um the undefeated was always slightly out of reach uh versus um i think this mirror match um i have i have a, a very strong strong player that we dubbed the world government that that ends up winning nearly every week but he he is running the current meta um that is the uh navy package uh with the gecko morias with the rebecca's um you know rebecca not being able to be KO'd uh, off rip because of the cost reduction, uh, the extra added cost to attached leader is very strong. Uh, if you guys want to see that deck profile, um, I'm, I'm interested in trying that out because I am trying to figure out what I'm going to be playing in the future uh, regionals and treasure cups. Uh, it might be end up, might be that uh, new. Um, that new navy package it might be this one honestly i'm really enjoying my blurple kaido right now i might be taking a run uh, with blurple kaido um but we'll do more testing and see how he feels into the other matters when we do more play testing um so we went over black yellow luffy went over bonnie we went over um 
Gekka, uh is pretty similar to just facing the Luchi. Uh, what else have we been seeing? Um, Zoro and Chopper just just keep clearing their board. Um, if they high roll and just kind of destroy you with rusher cards, it is what it is. Um, the rush, the rush decks, the aggro decks are gonna be um a little harder to to face especially if they hit their kid killers if they hit their zoros um but what you want to essentially get down versus those um aggro deck is going to be your brooks um is going to be your luffy's is going to be your sanji just to help clear board putting those up who downs putting that brook down and just clearing out their their weenies um what else did we face um, I think we faced a, um, was it the, uh, new egghead? No, egg, eggman. No. What's his name? The, the professor. I, I'm drawing a blank. We've been, we've been recording for a while. This is, this deck profile is getting a little longer. Um, trying to think of anything else that we played. Oh, sorry. Raju. Um, Raju is, can be difficult once again, but it's just use those costs control that board. Don't hit Raju. Make sure you starve them. Make sure you're starving those Anels. build that board hard, and then just start swinging. Once you get, get those, those big boys down, such as your Jack, such as your Nico Robin, such as your, your Sabos. Um, once you have that big, big board down, um, you just start starve 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 and you're you're gonna beat those those uh decks for sure uh similar to so and now starve them um who else are you gonna want to starve here you're gonna want to start the now um you're gonna want to starve your rage use um you're gonna want to starve there's one more Anyways, it, it, it's 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 yeah, it's it's your basic your basic strategy. Starve, 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 build, control, board, and then go for game, uh, and then just burn through their aggro. Um, but that's that's about it. Uh, that is the ST14. I didn't pull this out to show you, but this is the game Genix. We did do a uh, product review on it. I'm still very happy with it. But uh, yeah, that is your ST14 Black Mono uh, Luffy that is the animal package and you guys know i'm a sucker for the animal pirates uh kaido is one of my favorites uh, characters um and i've been running blurple so it's nice to see him in the different uh different packages um i think yeah if you guys uh like these new sleeves i will have them available soon these are prototypes that i will be having for our 1k celebrations uh this is the custom mat that we will be releasing too and i will have some serialized ones like this um raffled off uh, to say thank you to all those who uh, supported me early on um, we've been growing really quick and uh, I appreciate guys all for watching thank you so much hit that like and subscribe let me know um, what you think of this deck profile if you guys have more tech for ST14 or maybe some secret sauce for that um, animal kingdom pirate tech let me know take care guys we'll see you on next one Oh, sorry. I forgot. We still need to open up the winner package, but there's that Perona that was from Treasure Cup. We did that with the original starter deck, um, ST14, but let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I think I'm just missing one more, uh, one more winner card to have my set for my collection. Um, and then the new seasons of the winner card are not out yet. Not until near end of, uh, sorry, mid end of October. Once the new, uh, once the new starter decks come out, six starter decks, there's gonna be a lot of content coming, guys. But here we go. We got another Beppel. Oh no. All right, I'm happy to see him. Always glad to add another winner card. I think we're missing a Momo. So, Momo, or what is it? I, I think we're missing the green card. I don't remember what it is. But there you go. We got ourselves another winner card undefeated deck profile. But sorry, I missed that. We are out now. Take care, be safe, and so long.